are you? I'm pretty good too. Good. What you been up to? Practicing, getting ready <laughs> for season and all that fun stuff. How's practicing going? It's good. Um, I mean, we haven't really done like real practice yet. We're doing yeah. just kind of workouts if you want to go in and shoot. And then we have lifting and conditioning all week. So real practice doesn't start till next week. But Oh, you ready for it? Yes, I'm always ready. <laughs> I know so you're fun. excited to get back out there. I am. I've been sad to miss it. <laughs> well, it's been rough, but it's okay. Yes, yeah, okay. We going out with a bang this season, though, there huh? Look, well, my there freshman ain't no freshman anymore. <laughs> my favorite no. freshman. A whole fifth year. That's okay. My goodness. Hey, but at least you didn't stop last year when you couldn't finish your season. At least you could probably finish your season this year. I hope so. I hope we even have one because if we don't, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> you gotta have one. Have one. Oh, I goodness. hope so because I cannot stay in school for another year. <laughs> it's not going to happen. Like, even if y'all just play SEC, only SEC, that's pretty yeah. good, right? That'd be mm-hmm. okay. At least facts. I have film to give, you know, scouts maybe. Facts, facts. I don't know. <laughs> All right, we're going to get it started. You ready? I'm ready. All right, for those who don't know, where are you from? I am from Mason, Ohio, so about 12 hours north of here. Quite a drive. Why did I think you were from um, Cincinnati? Wait, is that That's close, yeah. No, 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 Cincinnati. <laughs> <laughs> There's Cincinnati, Ohio, so it's like, okay. yes, that's the city that I'm near. I'm like 20, 25 minutes away from there. So to, you know, for everybody else to realize where it is, it's Cincinnati. When did you first start playing basketball? I first started playing when I was four on my dad and my grandpa's team, and I played with all boys. Um, It was, I don't know, it was fun from what I remember. I was like (laughs) 16 something years ago, 16, 17 years ago. So, yeah, it was fun. That's where I started. Both my parents played basketball in college, so it kind of stemmed down from there, is what I always say. Basketball is in my blood, so. We'll see. Yeah, I didn't know that. <laughs> yes. Uh, did you play any other sports growing up? I did. I played volleyball. I ran track, soccer, but I quit that's every you mouth so good. Huh? <laughs> track. That's why you was doing the mouth. So there you good. go. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I stopped everything when I was twelve. Around that time, I didn't like nothing else really interested me more than basketball I picked up track in high school for like two years but nothing you know really compared to that that was just for fun (laughs) all right was you heavily recruited coming out of high school I was but not from the SEC so our old coach Dykes he gave me um my only SEC offer but I had a lot of mid-major schools um I was going to go to Dayton first my junior year, um, but that kind of fell through. And then I got this offer my very last tournament of my senior year. So really? I basically, I so waited. you kept going. Like, like yeah. you kept playing all the way up. And mm-hmm. then, for real? I waited okay. my very last time. And I had offers, and I was interested in Ball State, which is close to uh, where I'm from. And they have, like, the number one program for my degree. Um, so I was going to go there a lot for school, but, and then I got this and I was like, well, we're just going to go to the SEC and see how that goes. And why did you pick it? Why did you pick Arkansas? Um, I really liked the atmosphere when I got here. I mean, I'm a big football fan too. So that helped when we went to the game and everything. But, um, when I met you guys, it was like, we had fun the very first night we went bowling and we just had a good time. And I didn't know, know. yeah, I liked the people. I liked the school. So it just kind of, it just felt right when I came. Okay. I'm glad you came to Arkansas and I got to play with you. Oh, yes. All right. Um, what was your work ethic like in high school? Yikes. Um, it was really <laughs> intense. <laughs> My AU coach, she was um, very, I guess I can just say intense again. She was very intense with um, our workouts and that's really why I was good at the mile. We ran the mile every week. Um, we ran the Kentucky mile. We did conditioning before practice. And then we'd have fully defensive practices and then do some more conditioning at the end. 
That's why you was so, in Yeah, girl. I'm, we did a lot of running. I was a pixie stick when I came in. But um, it was it was good. It was really, like, I knew I wanted to play at a high level. And um, I just hadn't really been given the opportunity until the very end. So that's why I was kind of comfortable not committing until the very last minute. Because I knew that somebody was going to see, you know, the work that I put in. So, yeah. I was back. Yeah. <laughs> besides um basketball at Fayetteville what do you like name three things that you like about Fayetteville besides basketball if there's anything yeah this is very different from where I'm from so um I would say and it is kind of because of basketball but the hmm? I was talking to the uh oh okay. I mean my bad keep going, uh, keep going. no you're fine but it's because of basketball, but the little girls that I've met here um, and that I've, like, been to their practices and stuff, I love little kids and just, like, helping out any way that I can. So that was um, a really great opportunity. I'm now on the SEC Leadership Council, and I'm the chair. Yay. Okay. I know. Okay. I know, so I'm trying to use my networking. But, I mean, really everything because of Fayetteville is stems from basketball. So, I mean, I wouldn't be given the opportunities that I had if it wasn't for that. Um, and then, obviously, I love my teammates. They're pretty <laughs> cool, I guess. So. <laughs> okay, okay. How is it, like, what is it like playing with Coach Neighbors? Playing for Coach it's Neighbors. completely different from what me and you went through and completely yeah. different from high school. It is so laid back and, like, you just – like you're your own kind of boss outside of basketball and kind of inside of basketball. They are very um, trustworthy and like they have a lot of trust in you and they want you to, you know, not be like have this border or these barriers around yeah. you and they're just like, do your thing. And if you're, you know, good to us, we're good to you. So yeah, it's a lot different. We kind of, the style of play is different. It's up and down and three-pointers and layups the whole time. Very different from the screen and roll stuff that we, we used yeah. to do. So I had to kind of go back to some, like, younger days when I did that. Um, yeah. In high school, we played transition, but we did a lot of pick and roll stuff. So to go back to shooting a majority of threes rather than pull-up jumpers is definitely an adjustment. But, you know. I've been doing it for three to four years now, so it's kind of gotten in the hang of it. Okay. <laughs> All right, so what was it like playing the SEC championship? Like, you guys was, like, the 10th seed, and y'all yes. got to play every day. What was that? Yes. Like, y'all did good. Y'all did good it on that. was amazing. You know, when we went, we lost the first day to Florida, <laughs> and I will never forget that. That was terrible. But I was glad, like, to finally have – a year where I got to see it like fully through yeah um, but it was like I always say this when we went we kind of like it was when our team first started to like spark and really like combine into the team that we see now and like that we wanted to be and we just kind of came in with like we're just gonna do our thing we're not gonna you know derive away from what we were have been doing all year long so um it was an amazing experience. It was nerve wracking to be that, you know, far ahead and to be playing against Tierra McCowan again, who already <laughs> kicked our butt during the season. So, but it was just great. It was a great atmosphere. We had a lot of fun. And um, I do think that's when our team started to like really click. Okay. You had an injury this past um, season. What was that injury? I tore some tendon in my ankle. So I had um, not been feeling so great during practice. So I went up for a rebound, came down kind of weird and tried to run and had to sub myself out. And we tried different different taping methods for about a week. And then um, now he was like, we're just going to take you to get an MRI because nothing's working. And then they found out that it was torn. So it was real fun having to practice on it for a while. Okay. Um how how has that been like transitioning back like coming back from that injury recovering from it and stuff yeah it's been tough um i've never really had an injury take me out more than a month or two so yeah. to be able to come back and it was really slow um not something that i really expected so i had to go through 
months and months of rehab, months of not being on it. So um, I'm still, you know, coming back. I'm not as fast as I was before, but I'm, you know, I have to put an extra work to get there. So yeah, it's been interesting, definitely a struggle at times, but it taught me a lot about myself, which is, it sounds very cliche, but <laughs> it definitely <laughs> did. Um, and, you know, just got to keep that same, you know, hard work attitude that I've had the past yeah. four years. Is it, um, is it like a, is it, is it a tough thing? Like a mental, is it a mental as well? Yeah, it definitely is. Um, I mean, I'll be very candid with you. I went through like a super dark time last year and I was struggling. And I think a lot of athletes when they come out of sports have a hard time, um, figuring out what their identity is besides their sport. So yeah. that's something that I had to figure out while still being in my sport, basically. So um, I was doing a lot of, you know, soul searching, I guess you could say, <laughs> and figuring out what I like to do outside of playing basketball. So it's definitely a mental struggle as well as physical, but, you know, we're athletes, we're kind of built for mental yeah. toughness. <laughs> so. Back, back, back. All right. Okay, so you're um you're in your uh your master's, right? You are you master program? No. So I graduated with a degree in journalism and a minor in communications. So because okay. I only had one more year, the master's program that I was interested in, they said it would take two to three years. So I didn't want to start something and then not finish it. So I'm completing that minor, so I'll have two bachelors. Okay. Which is okay. kind of fun. That's yeah. what's up. Yeah. <laughs> Two degrees. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big shoddy. There you Everybody go. Ain't like that. <laughs> All right. How is it dating an athlete? And what is the pros and cons from it? <laughs> um, I mean, right now, it's very different right now um, because of COVID. But mm. every day we go in, um, we get screened. Like, we have to fill out a questionnaire about our symptoms. We get our temperature taken. Um, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we lift. Tuesday, Thursday, we condition. And um, if you want to get a shooting workout in, usually our coaches text us. But, you know, we can also text them if we want to shoot. Um, more towards the season, you go through your classes and then have practice around three. Cause that's usually when everybody gets off. Um, and then you go home and do homework. And you go to bed because you're very tired from the day. Okay, okay. Yes. So this is how it is being a college athlete? Yes, girl. I'm a okay, bed okay, by I'm like 10. <laughs> you think girl, I'm I have been at 10. <laughs> how is it dating an athlete? Oh, dating. Pros and cons date from date. Like, Oh, okay, okay. My okay, fault. Not I did not hear that correct. <laughs> Sorry. Dating an athlete. <laughs> Oh, yeah. uh, everybody. Kevin Richardson, he's in the other room <laughs> playing his video up, games. Um, it's interesting. I definitely think being two athletes, it, you know, you have your advantage because you understand each other's schedule. You're not, you know, all up on each other about, like, why didn't you text me back for three hours? <laughs> like, I'm tired. Listen, I'm taking a nap. So um, it's great. I mean, he definitely is very supportive, and I'm supportive of him and all that. Um but we get in arguments about basketball because he played and he thinks he knows more than I do oh, and he doesn't, <laughs> but I, we're competitive all the time. So it keeps our relationship pretty fun. That's what's up. That's what's yeah. up. <laughs> all right. Did you grow up watching WNBA? <sighs> no, not as much as like towards my high school days. Um, I watched more NBA, LeBron James. Love my life. Player. I'm sorry, Kevin, but um, he knows. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I I grew up watching the NBA more than anything in college. So. Who's your favorite NBA team? The Lakers right now. I literally follow LeBron wherever he goes. Favorite okay. player, so wherever he is, I'm at. Okay. <laughs> Did you have any favorite WNBA players when you was younger? Maya Moore. So like, she is my absolute favorite women's basketball player ever. She is just so crafty, and then she has become, like, one of my favorite people ever because of her, like, activism outside of basketball, and I, yeah. like, definitely admire that working, like, quitting the sport that you've grown up and, like, played your entire life 
it's super admirable to get somebody out of jail that you know isn't supposed to be there. Yeah. So I mean, she just she has my heart for real. She's just amazing. <laughs> <laughs> she really is. Oh. All right. Um. I remember asking you when you was a freshman, did you mm-hmm. want to play professional basketball? And you said yes. Are those yes. still the same? Those goals they still the same? are. Yes, okay. I want to play overseas. Um. It's kind of, I don't know, people, when you ask that, they ask what you want to play in the WNBA, but, you know, there's a lot of hard things going on here, and especially now, more. Um, but I love to travel, so anywhere that I can experience something new, um, take me back to Italy or to Spain or wherever, I would be there in a heartbeat. So, yes, I definitely want to play overseas for a couple years. Okay. Did you? Um- I'm trying to be like you, Jess. Um, so did, did you enjoy that Italy experience that you guys had? I did. Um, I would say I enjoyed it more outside of the basketball realm. I enjoyed, like, okay. learning about the culture and everything and taking all the visits to things that you see in movies. Like, to be able to go see the Statue of David and um, all the different – fountains it was just it was amazing and it was so beautiful and I like to take pictures so I had a, such a good time with my camera <laughs> um but yes it was fun playing um obviously and like meeting other teams but definitely like the cultural aspect was my favorite part of it okay that's what's up. okay what do you want to be remembered for at Arkansas Oh, that's a deep question, Jess. Um, okay, we don't have to answer that. No, I'll answer it. <laughs> um, I think the most, you know, because of basketball, I have been able to meet pretty great people and be in positions of um, leadership. So I think what I would most want to be remembered here for is a kind person that um, used her platform for good and to help others and um, it's kind of – what I'm doing now, I guess you could say, in the roles that I'm in. But, yeah, um, yeah def- I mean, being known as a good basketball player is cool, but to be known as a better person, I think, is above that. So Yeah, facts, yeah. facts. <laughs> All right. Um, what have you been working on? What can we see from you this summer? I mean, this uh, season coming up. Oh, what have you been um, perfecting? You know, me, I don't like to be touched, so I, I don't like to be in the paint. <laughs> But I have been working on it. So if we see me at the free throw line some more, that is why. Okay. Um, but you can always expect, you know, a pull-up jumper. That's my game. That's your secret. Um, consistent. free throw line coming down. Well, there you go. Just a pull-up <laughs> jumper. I can't – I don't know what it is about it. It's a sweet spot. So, but, yes, I have been working, and I've been beating up Kevin when we play one-on-one, um, trying to get used to being bodied. You know, I'm trying to put on – you know, some big, <laughs> big girl weight, but yes, I have been working on that, but it's going to be fun. I'm really excited for the year, so we're all working on things to kind of, you know, keep us at the top of our conference right now, so we're very excited. Oh, I hope, I hope COVID need to go away. I hope I can I know. see it. I, gotta see I know. It it's going to be fun. All right, we finna, um, if anyone left any questions, we finna go answer them, and then I got one more question, and then that'll be it. Okay. All right. Okay. Kevin left a question. Here we go. <laughs> how was it? How, how has it been sitting out while your teammates have been having a success? And how do you plan on bouncing back? <sighs> of course, he asked this question like he doesn't know the answer. Um, <laughs> it, was, it was hard sitting out. It was really hard. And um, I think as an athlete, when you see your team have success without you, it's a little bit difficult because, you know, I started every game since a freshman and to have my team be successful without me it's not discouraging but it's like damn I want to be out there there, like I just want to be out there like we could could do so many things yeah but I was very excited because I knew that I helped build where we were and where we're going um with neighbors when he first came so it was tough but I'm very excited and I'm grateful to kind of has sat back and learned from a different perspective, kind of in like a coach's perspective. So I think I learned more about the game than I thought possible, but that is definitely something that um, became a positive from being hurt. Okay. All right. <laughs> uh, yeah, Jacob, we played. 
together. I think it was your freshman year only, my senior freshman year. year. Yeah, yeah freshman year I know. We year. did so good together, Jess. I'm picking pops for. I'm telling you, y'all should go back and watch the film. We sucked as a team, but <laughs> we, we had some moments of greatness. I promise. We, I, we did. I don't know. I won't say. I'll say this. We had all the talent in the world. Like oh, y'all don't understand. Are. We had like just so many gifted athletes. It was insane. Joe, Bree, Jess, Cooley, and if we had the coach that we have now. We would have been in the final four, without a doubt. Like there was no question. <laughs> we did. We had all the pieces. We just did not have a coach that knew how to put us together correctly. Facts. So, Facts. Yeah, it was sad. But I mean, outside of basketball, I liked y'all. So <laughs> that's a good thing. Good. Oh, me. Facts. Oh, I know what that was. Oh, sorry. Okay. Is that? <laughs> Is that the last question? One question. What's up, Ken? All right, that's hey. the, oh, I, got, I got one more question for you. Okay. Where do you see yourself in five years? God, um, five years. Kevin, you can hear this. Hopefully, married, um, with you know some money in my pocket and working towards um, a career as an NBA photographer or events planner. So we'll see. Okay. All right, all right. That's what's up. That's what's yeah, up. We'll see. How long do you want to play ball then? No, I mean, after being hurt, it like, you know, your body starts to shut down a little bit. So, I mean, I have pain here and there from running up and down the court for too long. And so as long as my body lets me, I would like yeah. to play. But if we're being, like, really realistic, probably about two, three years max. Okay, at least you did yeah. it. I know you that's. Did I would like to make some money from it, but yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to be practical about it. My body will probably not, you know, allow me to go as long as probably you will. So, but we'll see. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, my body hurts too. <laughs> Listen, it's a different. So many mouths on his. I hit 22, and I was like, "Oh man, I am an old woman. I'm not really, but I Press feel up. like I'm 47." What are you doing? We're not even going to talk about it then okay. no more. <laughs> okay. We don't have to. <laughs> All right, Jay. Thank you for allowing me to interview you. Of course. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. No problem. Have a good one. Be safe. You too. Bye, love. Bye. Love you. And, uh,